Uh, hi guys, today I'm going to do a video showing you how to install a mono game for Visual Studio Community 2015. Uh, mono game is an, uh, a class library for games uh, and content. So, as, I, as you can see now, I've started Visual Studio, so if I go under File, New project. So here we can see in our templates for uh, Visual Studio, we have many different options to create programs for Windows, Web, Android, and such. Um, but if you want to create a game, uh, we could create every class by ourselves, but it's easier to use a uh, mono game for that. So, what you want to do is go to internet and uh, what you want to search for is um, mono game. And it should take you to this site. So, this is mono game, and uh, it's a library for creating great games in. Visual Studio C Sharp, and uh, the games you can, uh, so the games you create in this can be released for many different platforms. So what you want to do is go under Mono Game 3.4 and Mono Game 3.4 for Visual Studio. You get this uh, .exe file, which is totally working. So we can pause. So now the downloading has finished, so what you want to do now is just press the file and go under next and uh, you have, probably have to clo close Visual Studio for now, otherwise it won't install. And then you press I agree and uh, you want the Visual Studio 2015 templates and uh, the menu shortcut and open AL and, uh, and for other versions of Visual Studio you of course want to accept those. But just press install for now, and we we'll wait. And then you can press finish. And now when you start Visual Studio, you should find the alternative to create a mono game. So file, new project, and if we look in this list here, which takes forever, um, we can now find game. Nope. Mm, mono game here, and uh, there are different types of mono games. If you want to create a game for Linux, Android, Windows, and so forth, um, I want to create a Windows project, so I just name it Game One and see the location which it saves in, and press OK. And now you gain the ability to uh, import classes such as uh, textures, vectors, and uh, you can you can add content to your project like images or sound, and uh, it's a lot easier to program a game from this framework. So we here double click on the game one class. It should take us to this. It looks very much like XNA, and uh, yeah, 